Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the topic of minerals and metals. Okay, so, so far in this topic about Earth's resources, we've been thinking about resources in terms of uh, renewable and non-renewable resources. Okay, so in terms of whether it's the things that are able to be replaced or kind of uh, regenerated in a practical kind of time frame. And so, you know, so renewable things we've been talking about, say, wood or water um, uh, or, you know, like, so other things, maybe other product from, from living things. And then non-renewable resources, we've introduced the concepts of fossil fuels, metal ores, Okay, so you know, so fossil fuels like gas and and um, oil and coal and so on. You know, yeah. Um, so metal ores and, and, and things like that. And um, in this particular video, we're going to um, be focusing on this concept of the metal ore, what we mean by that, and what why we consider it to be a non-renewable resource, and how that actually impacts in our on our lives. Okay. So, um. We're talking about a metal ore, okay? And we're also going to be talking about the concepts of minerals and then how then we end up with different metals that we use, okay? So we know that in life that there are a number of different substances that, that we can, some, some rocks that we can dig out of the ground. Okay, so this is kind of a rock. It kind of looks like a, like a cloud, or with a, you know, with some chalk chips in it, or something like this. Okay, but so it's a rock that we dig out of the ground, and the idea is that inside it, we have metal particles. Okay, that's kind of what the chalk chips are supposed to represent here. Okay, and then what we have is, um, basically the rest is kind of rock material. Um, perhaps that's not, you know, the, the vaguest, the, the easiest way to put it, but the, this idea being that there are lots of substances that we can dig out of the ground that contain little bits of metal in amongst um, other stuff that we don't want. And what we have to do is we want to be able to um, to to use these these chunks of metal to separate them and purify them into metal that we can use for all sorts of other things. And so we need to do a, a process called extraction. Um, or this idea of, all right, well, we've got to somehow get the metal out of there, okay, so, it's, so that we can use it. Um, now, this substance um, that where the, this metal is kind of found inside is called a mineral, okay? So some minerals that we, um, that we encounter, um, we have bauxite, uh, hematite, whoops, I didn't get the spelling right on that one. You'll see why it was a little tricky in a second. So hematite, okay. Um, another one that we've got is called chalcopyrite. Kind of got that Greek sort of sounding kind of bit at the end. Um, and so um, what we have here, these are, are rocks or these are, you know, it's kind of, yeah, parts that we would find inside rocks that contain certain metals. Okay, so bauxite contains aluminium. Hematite contains iron. Chalcopyrite contains copper. Okay, they're all examples of substances that we um, can ex we want to extract um, those metals from. Okay, and so what we need to do is we've got to somehow um, find a way to take the raw substance. We've got to break it down. So what we've got to do first of all, we've got to get it out of the ground by the process of mining. Okay, now mining is something that's very important in um, in Australian society because lots of our our society is built on money that is based around mining, um, and you know things like iron ore and copper and and things like that are, are things that are very valuable to um, Australia. Um, now that comes with with environmental costs and that comes with a whole host of other things that we would need to consider when we're doing it. Um, but the reality is that that mining is important to our society and, and we need to accept that. Um, we just need to do it responsibly. Okay, so somehow we've got to get the mining, we've got to take the, the process to get that the substance, the, the mineral that we need out of the ground. 
okay? And then we've got to go through this process of extraction. Okay, now we'll go through that in a little bit more detail just in a moment, okay? And then we then go through this, this final kind of process of purification, okay? So um, extraction, um, so mining, getting the rock kind of out of the ground. Um, extraction, we're separating the metal, but it's impure. And then purification, as the name would suggest, is get a sample of pure metal at the end, or as pure as we can manage in real world um, situations. Okay, so this is kind of the, these are the sort of process that we would we would want to do. Okay, um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that the process of extraction now. Okay. So it can involve a combination of physical and chemical processes. Okay, but so physical sort of processes, like we're talking about physically, you know, like actually breaking the rock, okay, and um, actually taking things and, um, you know, breaking it down. We might be talking about um, melting and then solidification which is kind of a more fancy term for freezing but um, we're typically talking about high temperatures so freezing kind of gives us the wrong idea but so this idea of melting and you know melting things down and then harden and cooling them so that they turn solid again um, yeah so so um, we might also use uh, magnetic separation when we're thinking about things like iron or um, the, the metals that are magnetic, that if we're able to actually physically separate them out, we can use magnets to actually try and extract things. Okay, um, and then chemical processes involve um, this concept of, of chemical reactions or, or using, um, changing the, the substance in some way chemically actually, um, rather than physically that um, perhaps we're doing a chem we're reacting it with a substance that means that what we're changing the nature of the particles inside the rock so that then the metal is able to be gotten out okay so lots of mining involves um, some so some of these sorts of concepts uh, now we won't really go into the, the chemistry of this because it's, it's where we're working at year eight level but the idea being that that um, we are we need to use our understanding of science and chemistry in particular to change the particles inside the mineral. Okay, so maybe we're re reacting with the metal in a way that pulls it out of the rock. Maybe we're reacting with the rest of the rock in a way that dissolves it away, leaving metal um, parts behind. Maybe we're taking metal as part of a compound and making it, um, taking it back to being a pure element. Um, those are all things that we would need to do. Okay, um, and so then, and then we're going to go, we go through this concept of purification. Okay, so where we take, where we've, we've somehow, we've separated um, our metal, but we have it impure. There's lots of other impurities um, or, or other kind of things that are mixed in that, that are contaminating our sample. And we want to um, go from impure metal to pure metal by separating out the impurities which we discard, which we get rid of them, we chuck them out away. Okay, and so so some sort of a process that we that we might do there. Okay, so that there's different things that might come in here. So we might do things like heating. Um, so 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 heating kind of um, other things like that. We might do other counter chemical processes um, that take away some of those impurities. It could be lots of different things. Okay, um, that's not really something that we're going to go into in, in, in a lot of depth. But the idea then is that through this process, we end up with a sample of pure metal, or at least as pure as we can get it, um, that then we can take and we can, um, we can use in some other situation. All right, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.